Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of our Jam Syllabus series. Uh, today we're looking at the syllabus for economics, and it might interest you to know that in economics there are a total of um, how many topics you are going to study? 23 topics in economics. All right, that means that within a month you can finish completely your economics syllabus and start again and we rinse and repeat and of course you know that you have to at least finish your syllabus two to three times before your main jam exam that's why when we are stressing the importance of you to of you starting early you think maybe we want to force you to do something no you need to finish your syllabus like at least two to three times at least two or two or three times that will make you build confidence because you it, you cover you'll be able to cover all the gray areas you missed in the first uh in the first reading the second reading and of course the third reading will be like a balance for you so please ensure you do this these tutorials okay the series are brought to you by the o3 school jam CBT practice app all right the app is for students who want to pass their exam at once if you have made your decision that you i will not i will never write jam twice please go to play store right now download the application on your phone if you need the application for your computer for your laptop so that you can be able to practice cbt seamlessly also the link just message uh, message the number has been displayed on the screen right now 091215152 all right the app has all the past questions you need for your exam so you don't need to bother about buying past questions it has lecture notes structured according to the syllabus it has a, a classroom feature with lecture notes of course structure according to the syllabus like i've said and then has question search feature under that question search feature you can search for question uh, after we're reading a particular topic okay you can search a question from that topic and the question that jamba said under that topic will just come out for you you answer it and then of course you'll be happy you know the joy you get when you answer questions and you know it you are not failing them all right that is what the question search feature gives to you then there's a mock challenge on the app every saturday all right and after that mock challenge your result will be released just like jam so you see your score, then you say, ah, um, I need to try you, um, I need to improve oh. all of those things on the application and act activation is just for a little fee. So please ensure you download the app, activate, start now. Let's look at the syllabus for economics. Uh, let's see the general objectives. Say the aim of UTM syllabus in economics is to prepare the candidates for the board's examination. All right, so syllabus is a guide, all right, list of topics you should study and areas you should what, avoid. Then of course, it is designed to test the achievement of the course objective, which are to demonstrate sufficient knowledge and understanding of the basic concepts, the tools, and their general applications to economic analysis. To identify and explain the basic structures, operations, and roles of the various economic units and institutions, national and international. Three, to describe major economic activities, production, distribution, and consumption. Then four, to identify and appraise the basic and current economic problems of society. Then five, to develop the competence to provide solutions to economic problems identified. Now let's see detailed syllabus. The first topic we are going to look under look look, look for under uh, look into under economics is economics as a science. Please, before we continue, if you do not like this video, that is sheer wickedness. Okay, that is wickedness. Please encourage us by liking this video and of course uh, liking the video will also make other students easily find this video to increase the visibility of the video all right so also please share click on the share button share to your friends share to your whatsapp share to everyone share to your facebook also all right let everybody just see these informations and what be able to use utilize them for their success in the examination all right don't be part part of those that say in our family we know they share oh, now they will they pass all right please let everybody succeed economics as a science the first part talk about basic concepts that is one scar scarcity rather choice scale of preference opportunity cost rationality production uh, distribution consumption then talk about uh, economic problems of what how and for whom to produce and efficiency of resources used then talk about application of uh, production uh, possibility frontier to uh, solution of economic problems ppf then the second topic is economic systems economic systems talk about the types characteristics of free enterprise centrally planned and mixed economies talk about solutions to economic problems under different systems talk about contemporary issues in economic systems then uh, uh, under that talk about economic reforms okay like uh, the regulation banking sector consolidation consolid consolidation rather and then a cash policy reform the third topic 
is method and tools of economic analysis. We look at the scientific approach, that is inductive and deductive methods. Talk about positive and normative reasoning. Then we talk about also basic tools, tables, charts, and graphs. Measures of central tendencies, main media mode and the applications. The measures, measures of dispersion, variance, standard deviation, range, and the applications. The merits and demerit of all of these basic tools of economic analysis. Then the fourth topic is the theory of demand. Under this, look at the meaning and determinant of demand. Look at the demand schedules and curves. The distinction between change in quantity demanded and change in demand. Talk about types of demand, composite, derived, competitive, and joint demand. Talk about types, nature, and determinants of elasticity and their measurement. Price, income, and cross elasticity of demand. We can talk about importance of elasticity of demand to consumers, to producers, and to government. Uh, meanwhile, know that we have all of these topics. The videos have already been short, okay? All the classes have been short. Past questions have been answered on them, on this Facebook page and in our YouTube channel at O3 Schools. So please, you have all the resources you need for your success. Do not blame yourself for not succeeding. Then the fifth topic is the theory of consumer behavior. We'll talk about basic concepts, utility, cardinal, ordinal, total, average, and marginal utilities. Talk about indifference curve and budget line. Indifference curve and budget line. We talk about diminishing marginal utility and the law of demand. Talk about consumer equilibrium using the indifference curve and marginal analysis. Then D, we talk about the effects of shifts in the budget line and the indifference curve. We talk about consumer surplus and its applications. The sixth topic is the theory of supply. We talk about meaning and determinants of supply. Talk about supply schedules and supply curves. Talk about the distinction between change in quantity supplied and change in supply itself. Talk about types of supply, joint or complementary, competitive and composite. They talk about the elasticity of supply, determinants, measurements, nature and applications. Then that will take us to the seventh topic, which is the theory of price determination. The concepts of market and price, functions of the price system, about equilibrium price and quantity in the product and factors and factor markets talk about price legislation and its effects talk about the effects of changes in supply and the demand on equilibrium price and quantity then eight talk about the theory of production meaning and types of production concepts of production and their interrelationships tp ap mp and the law of variable proportion Division of labor and specialization, scale of production, internal and external economies of scale and their implications, production functions and returns uh, to scale, producers, equilibrium, isoquant, isocost, and marginal analysis. Talk about factors affecting productivity. Then the ninth topic is theory of cost and revenue. The concepts of cost, fixed, variable, total average, and marginal. B, the concept of revenue, total, uh, uh, average, and marginal revenue. Then C, accountants and economists, notions of cost. Talk about short run and long run cost. Talk about the marginal cost and the supply curve of firm. Then number 10 is market structures. Talk about perfectly competitive market, the, the assumptions and characteristics, short run and long run equilibrium of a perfect competitor. B, imperfect market, pure monopoly discriminatory monopoly and monopolistic competitions talk about short run and long run equilibrium positions talk about break even short down analysis in the various markets the 11th topic is national income that is the concept of uh, gross national products gross domestic product ninnp national income measurement and their problems uses and limitations of national income estimates the circular flow of income two and three sector models the concept of consumption, investment, and savings, the multiplier and its effects, elementary theory of income determination, and equilibrium national income. The twelfth topic is money and inflation. Money is the root of all evil. Types, characteristics, and functions of money, demand for money, and the supply of money, quantity theory of money, Fisher equation, the value of money and the price level, inflation, types, measurements, effects, and control deflation measurement effects and control 
takes us to 13th topic, which is financial institutions, types and functions of financial institutions, traditional, central bank, mortgage banks, merchant banks, insurance companies, building societies, the role of financial institutions in economic development, money and capital markets, financial sector regulations, deposit money bank manipulation of money, monetary policy and its measurement, challenges facing financial institutions in Nigeria, public finance, meaning and objectives, fiscal policy and its instruments, sources of government revenue, taxes, royalties, rents, grants and aids, principles of taxation, tax incidence and its effects, the effects of public expenditure, government budget and public debts, revenue allocation and resource control in Nigeria. The 15th topic is economic growth and development. Under this talk about the meaning and the scope, indicators of growth and development, factors affecting growth and development, problems of development in Nigeria, then development planning in Nigeria. The 16th topic is agriculture in Nigeria, talk about types and features, the roles of agriculture in economic development, problems of agriculture, effects of agricultural policies and their effects, instability in agricultural income, the causes, the effects and solutions. The 17th topic is industry and industrialization, concepts and effects of location and localization of industry in Nigeria, strategies and industrialization in Nigeria, industrialization and economic development in Nigeria, funding and management of business organizations, factors determining the size of firms. The 18th topic is national resources and the, nat and the Nigerian economy, national resources and the Nigerian economy. A, we talk about the development of major natural resources, petroleum, gold, diamond, timber. Then we talk about contributions of the oil and the non-oil sectors in the Nigerian economy, or to the Nigerian economy, rather. Then C, we talk about linkage effects. D, we talk about upstream, downstream of the oil sector. You have heard about upstream, downstream, upstream, downstream, okay? This will give you a clear view of what it is. The role of NNPC and OPEC in the oil sector. Challenges facing natural resources exploitation. Then the 19th topic is business organizations. And that's the look at, under this look at private enterprises, sole proprietorship, partnership, limited liability companies and corporate societies, problems of private enterprises, public enterprises and their problems, funding and management of business organizations, factors determine the size of firms, privatization and commercialization as solutions to problems of public enterprises. 20th topic is meaning and theories of population, talk about population. Census, importance and problems, size and growth, overpopulation, underpopulation and optimum population, structure and distribution, population policy and economic development. 21st topic is international trade, under this look at meaning and basis for international trade, absolute and comparative cost, balance of trade and balance of payments, problems and corrective measures. Composition and direction of Nigerian foreign trade, exchange rate, meaning types and determination. Talk about international economic organizations, talk about roles and relevance of international organizations, e.g., ECOWAS, AU, EU, ECA, IMF, EEC, OECD, World Bank, IBRD, WTO, ADB, and UNCTAD to Nigeria. They also talk about factors of production and their theories, the types, futures, and rewards. Determination of wages, interest, and profits. Theories, marginal productivity theory of wages and liquidity preference theory. Factor mobility and efficiency. Unemployment and its solution. These are all the topics, 23 topics in economics so you are supposed to pay attention to for your jam examination. And of course, you have all three schools there. You have the app, you have tutorials to help you achieve this. Text. So any good textbook you have is very okay. Also, if you have the O3 Schools app, you never need to get any text because all the lecture notes have been prepared on the application. So some text here, uh, uh, we have uh, economics, that is exam focus. We have uh, by uh, Aderinto, we have Oxford Dictionary of Economics. We have Economics Made Easy by Yeyere. We have Countdown to SSE slash JME Economics. We have Roundup Economics, Modern Macro Economics. These are all the economics textbook you could, of course, uh, uh, write them out or buy the any one you want. Okay, you, you shouldn't get all of them. One is very much enough. The other school app is very much enough also. All right, so this is where we stop on the syllabus for economics. Thank you for watching. My name is Master T. I'm the commander of the O3 school, school army. So please download the app and make sure you are sharing our videos. Thank you for watching.